the first 100,000 is the hardest. Oftentimes people will say that and attribute it to Warren Buffett. Personally, I have no idea if the man ever really uttered those words, but what I will say is that for a lot of people, the sentiment rings true. So I realized I have this Robinhood account kicking around. Um, this brokerage account sits at roughly $10,000 in value. And I sit here thinking to myself, what would it take to go from 10,000 to 100,000? Because I think the uh, typical kind of like middle income level person, if they've got their finances in order, don't live beyond their means, etc., they can probably scrape together a $10,000 account value um, in a pretty reasonable time frame. But that next level, that 10,000 to 100,000 jump can seem super daunting by comparison. So what I've decided is that I'm going to take this modest Robinhood account that I've kind of, it's been my, basically my playground for learning uh, options strategies and um, other such things in a convenient way since it's accessible on both my phone and my computer. So I'm sitting here saying, hey, I've already got this account. Why not put it to a good use for the people who subscribe to the channel? Why don't we actually put it to the test? How long would it take me to bring this account from 10,000 to 100,000? Now, outside deposits on their own at my current level of economic means would they would take it would take quite some time all right we would not be going anywhere for a while we would need to eat quite a few snickers to get through that so i'm going to be using options premium as a force multiplier on this endeavor and some of my opening moves have been put on paramount put on mpw call on hpq these are sold positions and then i did buy a leaps on mpw um, out in 2025 for its expiration um, if mpw goes back towards its intrinsic value this will get me an outsized return but there is also the risk that it completely evaporates by that time so things like that will be a smaller uh, portion of how we allocate this brokerage account. Now, the stocks we hold are Vail, Momo, SWBI, UBX, UWMC, HPQ, MPW, and one share of Maine for a good measure. Um, now, HPQ by uh, dollar amount is the biggest position in the portfolio. I acquired it by selling a put a while back at the $28 strike, got assigned. As the price has recovered, I have gained 16% on it, and of course have collected dividends and sold calls along the way. So my actual return is um, easily over uh, 20% or so I would say on this, although this page doesn't take that into account. So. The other positions, um, some of them are equally as good, some are not so good, but um, basically we're going to be doing something similar to that uh, to generate premium. Now it's called a wheel strategy when you sell puts, take assignment, and then upon assignment, start selling calls as your um, share price recovers. and should the shares get called away, you would get cash and then you could start selling puts again. Hence, it goes around and around like a wheel. Um, now, once I get assigned shares, generally speaking, my goal is not to have them called away. So um, on the call side, I do generally do everything I can to roll out further for net credits to avoid having my shares get called away. Because as long as I keep the shares in my account, any dividends, etc., keep coming in even if I have calls sold against those shares. So my hope is that this can become a bit of a virtuous circle and along with whatever outside contributions I can muster up, we can turn this into a fun little um, challenge and we can you know, watch the clock, see how long it takes me to get from 10K to 100K. Now, 
what I would like is for everybody checking in on this to leave a comment below and tell me, one, do you think I will ever turn this 10K account into a 100K account? And two, if you think that I'm going to succeed, how long exactly do you think it might take me? Now, things may change in my personal life to where the level of money I can contribute will go up, and that could happen to other people as well. So it may be that right now, outside contributions are modest, but they increase over time. But that should happen in everybody else's life too, right? As time goes on, your, your means should increase, your career should advance, the income you bring in should go up, and you should be able to build faster, okay? But we're starting from a pretty modest level and we're just seeing what we can do here, okay? So I encourage you all to uh, subscribe to the channel, to tune in and see how this progresses. Uh, I'll do updates at pretty regular intervals um, especially if I've got any more options, um, sells or purchases of stock or anything like that that occur in this account, or if I make any substantial uh, outside contributions. So I hope to see you all in the comment section and also feel free to hop onto the Discord, link is in the description, and don't forget if you join and become a member, it helps me grow the channel, helps me fund challenges like this, and also uh, you get a greater say in what happens on the channel going forward. We have six channel members, I know, modest beginnings. Uh, when we hit 10, I'm going to be doing something in the M1 Finance YouTube portfolio, which I still plan to continue working on throughout this process. So be sure to do that support the channel. See y'all later. Have a wonderful day.